Hi friends! Thank you so much for joining me today for another video. So it's been quite a while since my last video and I had told you back then in my previous video that I would be filming a K-beauty haul once I got back from Korea. My week-long trip in Korea was really awesome. I got to spend super awesome family time so that was really great. And I also did get to go shopping quite a bit for a lot of beauty items that I had my eyes on. I had done some research by watching a whole bunch of K-beauty influencers like Hyojin and Pony, so it was really awesome to be able to learn what kind of products were in and what kind of products were used a lot in K-beauty, so I decided to make sure to do my research before going there, and I did get a decent amount of stuff that I want to share with you guys. I certainly enjoy watching haul videos, so I don't know about you guys, but I thought that I'd just share what I got from Korea. And boy, it was so, so hard to recover from jet lag and just to travel. Like, I'm not the best with traveling, so my body gets a little bit, like, icky and kind of under the weather after traveling, so I needed some time to rest and recuperate, so I'm back. For those of you that are new, welcome! I am Jane, and I'm so glad that you found my channel somehow. I hope that you enjoy this video and that if you do, don't forget to check out some of my other videos and uh, yeah, join the fam. We love you, we want you here, and we appreciate you here. So let's jump right on ahead. Okay, so I have like two Ziploc bags full of stuff. I think I pretty much grouped it to like nails and makeup. So let's just do the makeup first, right? And no, let's do the nails first. So the two shops that I went to the most were Etude House and uh, Innisfree. Here is just like a nail buffer, my beauty tool nail sanding block. This is from Etude House. It's just really cute how they packaged it. I love the mint green and the pink. I'm always gonna get nail products if I can because my nails need a little work right now. Don't look at them. <laughs> Some more tools here, you know, standard buffer right here just to buff and shine your nails. A nail filer. Pretty standard, right? And yes, I've been meaning to get my hands on one of these for a while now and I just hadn't gotten the opportunity to do that. This is just like a standard cuticle pusher that they use, you know, at the nail salons to push your cuticles uh, to give your nails more room and also clean up your cuticles too. So that's awesome. And then I got a couple nail polishes here. This is like a super pretty like champagne gold glittery nail polish. I think this will look really, really pretty on my skin tone because it's not like straight up gold. It's not straight up silver. It's like a warm toned silver and mild, mild gold, like champagne gold. And then here is uh, just like a really muted, nude, mauve nail polish. So it's just kind of matte, but I thought this would be good for every day, super appropriate for work. I really like these kinds of colors. So I think these would look good on my skin tone. So continuing on with the nail products that I have, I got a couple of just press-on gel nails. These are really cute and they have these, you know, in the States as well. You can buy them at like Target or Walmart or Walgreens. It's very easy to get, but I just thought that these designs are so cute. Like this will be really cute for winter time and this is just, I don't know, cute overall. Moving on to some more nail stickers. Now, I believe these are also sold here in the States but maybe not as widespread as in Asia, I'm not sure. These are basically like stickers, but these in particular are gel stickers. So they're supposed to last you like two weeks. And what you do is you put sticker, you put these stickers on your nails and you file off the excess and you basically get like a manicure. So I got a bunch of different designs. Like these are super cute. Red and gold. There's some like turquoise and silver. There's some pretty like pink and glittery flowery designs. More glittery like pale gold and pinky glittery silver glitters. Here's more like really nude flowery glittery like you can do accent nails. And here's some like red. Super duper cute, so I'm really excited to try these out. I'm just waiting for my nails to grow out a little longer so that I can use like more of the design on my nail. You know, I'm 
not filing off like most of the design, you know what I mean? I'll let you guys know if those are good and if they are, that'd be really awesome because for me, when I do my nails, they don't even last a week. They last maybe like five to six days at best. Hopefully these work out for me. Okay, so now I have a bag of makeup that I'm gonna share with you guys. So in this bag, I have products from Olive Young, which is more like a drugstore there, but they have a whole bunch of beauty products products they have like hair products makeup skincare they have tools they have nails like all these different products so I'll be sharing with you guys products from Olive Young I'll be sharing with you guys products from Etude House and finally Innisfree which is one of the stores that I went to pretty much every day so I'll just jump right on ahead so this is a brush from Etude House it's like a foundation brush and I figured that this would be really good for just really spreading out the foundation and making it really work into my skin in thin layers so it looks really dense even if it's a brush that I could use to just like spread foundation on to use like a beauty blender to bounce on top of I thought it would be just a really good foundation brush so I'm actually really, really, really excited. A lot of times people use brushes for different reasons than the brush was designed for. So this brush, it actually says it's an easy contour brush, but I don't know if I'm gonna use it for that, maybe. So this is the Etude House Any Cushion All Day Perfect SPF 50. I think it's just BB cream, but I'm not sure. I think it might be like foundation. It just says that it's Any Cushion All Day Perfect. I don't know what it actually is, if it's a BB cream cream or a foundation but it's a cushion product this is in the shade sand and I'm excited to try Ooh! and I'm excited to try this I'm gonna see if I'll do like a full face of Korean beauty makeup K beauty makeup and I'll probably use this in that video so if you guys are interested in seeing like a full face using K beauty makeup please be sure to let me know so here's the cushion foundation slash baby cream slash I don't know <laughs> at uh, Etude House I also got a couple palettes here's one here's two so these are really cute actually this is called the Spangle Dress Room Play Color Multi Palette and this one is it's called Lingerie Backstage so I'll just open it up quickly for you guys to see so here is the Lingerie Palette by Etude House here is what the palette looks like I think it's super pretty. It has some really pretty like matte shades and shimmer shades mixed in. All right, and I'm gonna show you guys the Spangle Dress Room palette. This is what it looks like. It has eyeshadow products right here and then cheek products right here. So it's a blush and a highlight and nine eyeshadows. I just picked this one because it had such fun colors. I'm not sure how I'm gonna incorporate these colors into creating like interesting looks because that's like lime green, like maybe pale lime green and this is purple. There's like a rusty pink and all sorts of complex colors, even an orange right here. I'm gonna see if I can create like interesting looks with this palette, but I'm actually really excited for these like blushes. They're pretty shimmery. So I think this one could work as like a highlight and this as like a blush topper maybe. All right, more products from Etude House. Etude House is so cute and I think this is the case for a lot of K-beauty brands is that they have these like limited edition packaging or they collaborate with like a certain movie or characters or whatever. So this time they were, I guess, collaborating with like Winnie the Pooh. So they had these cute Winnie the Pooh designs. Here's Tigger, here's Pooh. And these are like individual eyeshadows. They also picked up like a matte one. I thought this would be good for like light contouring of the face. Here I have a couple more. They're glitters. The Etude House glitters are so good. Like I'm actually wearing them on my eyes right now and I really love these glitters. Like a little goes a long way. They pack a freaking punch and they're so good. So I picked up another glitter. I just had to. And here's another really cute we need a poo one. It's him with his little honey jar. So I think that's super cute. Oh, here's another glitter shade. I thought this was pretty as well and just worked really well as like a eyeshadow topper. Okay, so last couple items from Etude House. 
I have this matte and glitter liquid shadow. It's supposed to be like a quick and easy liquid shadow. This is like a coppery rose gold shade. So I guess on one side, it's supposed to be like a liquid glitter applicator right here like that. And it's really thin. So I think you can get into like little fine detail work with this. So the other side, this is matte. Right, so it's like the same sheet, but it's a matte liquid shadow. So that's so interesting. I've never seen a matte liquid shadow product before. Very curious to see how that works. I don't know if it's actually matte or if it's just like kind of shimmery versus glittery. And I have another one right here. This is more of like a pearlescent, champagne-y, like more so like iridescent kind of product here. Same idea. Here's glitter and here's matte. Okay, I think this is the last product that I got from Etude House. It's just a really big clear brow gel, so I'm not gonna run out anytime soon. This really reminded me of the brow gel that uh, Pixie has. It's just like a clear brow gel. This has so much brow gel, so I'm not gonna run out anytime soon. Alright, let's move on to some Innisfree products. So here is a foundation brush and I'm really excited about this because it looks super interesting. I'll show you guys. It's shaped like really weird. It's shaped like a V almost. Do you guys see that? It's very angular. So I thought maybe this would be really good for thin layering and working foundation into the skin. And it has like all of these little angles here so you can get into the nooks and crannies of your face. So I'm actually really interested to see how well this works and I shall see if it is a winner. Here I just got some like bronzer slash contour shades. This is in the shade Peanut Cookie. The Korean uh, beauty influencer that I was following for a bit or I'm still following. She used this to contour the features of her face so I figured maybe it will match my skin tone as well because her skin tone seemed like pretty similar to mine. It's had like a little warmth and more yellowness to her skin so I was wondering if this would work for me and I also picked up a different shade here this is called ginger cookie a couple more products from Innisfree I got two little individual eyeshadows I think these are really pretty super glittery and pearlescent I think they'll be really awesome eyeshadow toppers again I've just been kind of into the whole eyeshadow topper thing because I watched Hojin do her makeup and she likes to like put matte shadow and then put like a pearlescent shadow or glitter on top that's kind of what I did today I thought it looked pretty good so I am excited to try these warm toned glitters as well and then I just got like one lip product um the thing that I noticed about a lot of Korean makeup lines is that the lip products are kind of crazy looking like they look like neon red almost and I'm not really into that vibe so I just picked like the most muted color possible here and I actually wore it yesterday and it's not transfer proof but it's pretty comfortable and very very slightly drying if you wear it like eight plus hours for the final final winner that got me going to Innisfree all the time is and I'm so excited to try it, is this smart, oh, <laughs> smart blender. You guys, this is like the softest makeup sponge ever, and I've seen a lot of like Korean beauty influencers use it, and I was like, where do I get that? So it looks like this. It looks like mochi, you guys. It's so freaking cute. It's soft. It has like a little like peach shape right here a little point here and then a flat side here so I'm excited to try this and see if it actually applies foundation flawlessly because I'm hoping that it does and it even comes in like this little holder actually got a ton of it because <laughs> I didn't want to run out <laughs> we're gonna move on to Olive Young I was really interested in getting some tools right to apply makeup better and I saw that Koreans really like using puffs and not just any puffs like if you've used like Laneige BB cushion or any sort of like Korean BB cushions you'll notice that the applicator is very different it's not just a regular old puff it 
it has like a little bit of waterproofness to it and it just spreads and applies face products really well so that's what I was looking to get and luckily I found like a bigger collection than I remember seeing two years ago so here's like an example of one it looks like this allows you to get like pretty flawless coverage and I got like two of those and I have like more here certain ones do specific things like this one gives you a more dewy finish this one makes sure that you get like really full coverage this one makes you look I don't really know what this one does but it's called the mochi puff so maybe it just makes you look really flawless of course I got a couple uh, powder puffs as well because I could always use some powder puffs are really great for powdering when you want to make your skin look more like a marshmallow you know like a really soft marshmallow finish and then the rest are just like some samples that they gave me they just give you a ton of different lotions and toners so I just thought that was really cute Innisfree actually also gave me this beast of a sample where you have like the toner the lotion the serum <laughs> and like a nighttime cream so I actually have been really loving this and I'm gonna order the full size online so you can actually get a lot of their skin products online and I feel like this does an amazing job of hydrating my skin and it's also supposed to be like uh, anti-aging so I'm gonna definitely get bigger sizes of these products and I'll maybe do like a separate video like a skincare video with these products and last but not least I wanted to show you guys this super cute little hand mirror that I got just couldn't resist when I saw this cute little face all right so that's pretty much it for all of the k-beauty items that I bought from Korea and I'm really excited finally to be able to jump in and use these products and play with these because I've been waiting to film this video to use my products you know because I want to show you guys the fresh stuff not the used icky stuff you know so I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, I certainly had fun sharing with you guys what I got and um, I'll probably be showing you guys more of these products and how I use them in my future videos so stay tuned for that thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and before I go I have to tell you, you guys know what's up if you've been with me for a while you guys are beautiful amazing and you're loved and you're so precious and you have to be kind to yourselves please please try to be kind to yourselves today because we can be our worst enemies and a lot of people won't be our biggest fans so we have to be kind and be our biggest fan so that we can be uplifting towards one another and be uh, just a really good positive being on this earth right so I hope you guys remember how awesome you are and how loved you are and I hope that you will just carry this energy throughout this entire week so with that I will see you guys in my next video bye Mwah.